Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Middle Age Mutant Show. My name is Ty, and I'm joined as always by my intrepid host, Pods. Go ahead and say hello or konnichiwa or don't well not Danka. What's what's the German hello? V- uh, is it Danka Shea? I, uh, I think that's that right? thank you. Or is I don't that know. thank you? I don't know. Hola uh, in Spanish? <laughs> I don't know. What is it in Polish? Hola. Well, I don't know that either. That's, that's we're 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 failing our people these days, Bob. Um, yeah. <laughs> today we're we're no H less or sans no H. So, Boz and I. Uh, so we're no no H. We're no no H. I don't know if I like sans no H or no no H. I guess no no H because it sounds kind of naughty. No no H. No no H. No no H. Um, no. no. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of ways. I think at that. some point we need to explain to the viewers why he's named No H, but we'll save that for an episode where No H is actually here. Yeah, we'll save that for a time whenever he protect can himself actually... from anything we don't want him all the, anybody to know. All the, yeah, like, rocks and arrows that we throw at him for being who he is. Uh, today yeah. uh, we're gonna be since No H is not here, the cat's away, so the boys will play. We're gonna talk about some video game stuff because No H couldn't give a you know what about games uh for the most part um and we're also gonna be talking something uh talking about something near and dear to buds and my heart which is the evil dead series we are crazy big evil dead fans we've been so since we were just young mutants or new mutants and uh something i don't know if this is sad news to be honest but um today or actually yesterday uh evil dead's evil dead the games developer or i guess it would be publisher because the developer is someone else but uh, saber interactive announced that they are going to no longer be doing updates to the game so it's finished develop basically development is finished that the uh servers uh they said will stay up for the foreseeable future for the playstation xbox and pc but they have yeah they have canceled the switch version which i didn't even know they were going to be doing a switch version so i I did not know that either. It's not like the biggest. I'm surprised some of the things that go to Switch, to be honest with you. I'm like, I did, would not well, see the someone Witcher playing that on Switch, me. but thanks. The Witcher surprised me greatly. Yeah, and and uh, me Red too, Dead Redemption. Much so. I could so, not believe the original Red Dead Redemption fits on the Switch. That's amazing. It's it's just crazy. I mean, these these things that I would never thought I would see on a Nintendo platform are, are there. Yeah. So, it's, it's crazy. It's yeah. Crazy but no, age, Evil Dead, it? no idea that was even going there. No, I had no clue. Um, now bot and I played this game uh, just a handful of times and we were pretty not impressed by this game. Um, I know there are people out there that swear by it, but I just had a hard time with a lot of just the, the day to day, like quality of life stuff with this game. Um, I, I did enjoy it's, um, so it, not single player, but like like the, the little it, it challenge like challenge content, or yeah, it's kind of a way it, to it was kind of just stuff. like because you didn't you get if I remember right yeah. you got like points or tokens you or did. something like you that. got different skins you and got you could get different, you got different skins. skins exactly yeah so uh, yeah. yeah I did I did enjoy that part of the game we did play a few matches in with friends but. I just had little issues like, and maybe they fixed these since then I need to jump back in this game just to see. But um, there was a couple of, couple of little things that really bothered me during the aftermath of this game's release. But um, I guess before I talk about that, I should talk about that. uh, Saber is, is doing this because their parent company Embracer group, which everybody knows who Embracer group is, um, they uh, are doing some restructuring. So I'm guessing so this game didn't do very well, which I, I, I don't think that's too far of a, a reach right there, but this game isn't doing well. It's, it's part of the chopping block or it's on the chopping block at Embracer mm. group. Cause they're trying to make like a meaner, like a leaner, meaner uh, video game uh, producer, uh, not producer, but publisher. Um, and uh, this is all, I bet you money. There's going to be some layoffs too. Uh, in, in the kind of aftermath of all this, because this is not the only, I don't think this is the only game that's kind of feeling the pain right now, but uh, they said this game is, it's only been 16 months since this game has come out. Bots, can you believe that? They said yeah, it was released. And, and, and what's crazy about it is like, where were, what were, 
what point were we at when it became free on PlayStation? Oh yeah, that's that was kind of my that was the gripe I was going to talk about. So we played this game and paid f- what what I think it was just we paid we, the thirty nine pre ordered it or forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, we we pre ordered it, and I remember being pretty excited about this game. Um, whenever it uh, was announced here, I'm just gonna have some B roll going in the background. Um, I was uh pretty stoked whenever they said that they were going to be putting this out because. Uh, it had all the different ashes and all that. And it was pretty cool. But yeah. quickly we were kind of like, Oh, this is not exactly what we expected. And not, I would say about maybe less than a year after the game actually dropped, they, it was for free on, um, I believe it was free on PlayStation plus, And it was yeah, also free. Plus. It was also free on Epic, which that doesn't really mean oh. a whole lot. Epic puts out stuff all the time but yeah. not that close to the actual not that close to the actual uh release of the game i was i was at that point i was thinking well this game is probably just dead at this point because if you're going to release it free that quickly um there's some major problems with your player count I'm, I'm guessing that there's not enough folks to go around and then uh, recently I know that it was released on steam because for a while it was, uh, it was a Epic exclusive if you were playing it on PC. And mm-hmm. to me, a lot of times, unless you're like a super triple a game that to me, that's like the kiss of death, uh, for a game. Whenever, whenever you release on, on a PC platform on only one, uh, storefront, that is just the kiss of death because most people either won't buy or won't try you or by the time you come to steam it like all the hype has died down and nobody really wants to play you. Uh, I believe this thing dropped on steam at like, uh, and I believe this is the version of the game of the year edition. I believe whenever it dropped on steam, it was half price from the get go, which is pretty normal. Hitman three, uh, did the same thing whenever it, it was a Epic exclusive. And then whenever it dropped on steam, it, it came out half price. So, or, or close to half price. Do you remember when game of the year meant something? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, I think in this context, it means I think they're just it's all the packs. Just, it's all the packs. Yeah, because this game it's had not lots really of, a game of the year. Yeah, this game has lots of like packs. That looks pretty cool. I haven't seen that yet. The uh, I guess yeah. that's Ash's like future car or whatever. But once it yeah. released on Steam, I thought there was going to be like a huge influx of players. I haven't looked at the Steam charts yet to to confirm whether or not this game is being played. But I I'm not gonna. I don't have very much hope to happen. I, I'm guessing that's why they put it out for free. It hopes that more people would play yeah, it. Yeah, so before, I'm I think it was kind of Epic's, it didn't. Epic's way to to raise the player count and also the, yeah. the, the publisher's way to raise the player count because I think they had to be exclusive to, um, to Epic for a year. That's usually how it works. You're exclusive to Epic mm-hmm. for a year, and then once that year's over, then you can release on Steam. And I'm thinking the developer here was was waiting for that, thinking, okay, that's going to be our next influx of players, our next influx of cash. However, I bet you that didn't happen, especially since Epic preempted them by making the game free uh, on on Epic. Because who wasn't going to get that on PC? It's you don't. All you have to do is create an Epic account, and then you just grab the actual game. So I think yeah. they might have thwarted their own success right there. I mean, the only thing that I think they could have done to me, and I don't know, this could be on Game Pass. I have any look. If they would have released it on Game Pass, maybe you would have seen a bit more uh of a player base. But some of the some of the gameplay in this game was just not all that great, if you ask me. I had problems with teammates, unless I was playing with you guys, I just had nonstop mm-hmm. problems. Like teammates would just like bolt in all, all yeah. directions and, and then you you, you, would you get, really had to stay together and yeah one. yeah i and i felt like i was immediately on the back foot i don't know and then they they had multiple times yeah. where they were i was listening to like developer commentary where like well we've we've uh we've done a little bit of tweaking now the the i don't guess they're calling them survivors and this i would call them heroes uh are a bit stronger or now the monsters are a bit strong i don't know but i just felt like um it just wasn't enough meat on the bone here and i'm sure that since all the player dlc packs come out there's been more stuff that's that's been added to the game yeah but i remember having like instant issues uh remember whenever we would be because we were we were excited about cro- at least i was excited about crossplay because the problem is mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't like playing on console and so when i found out you could play ps4 to pc i was i was stoked because bots had a ps4 and so um I uh, uh, jumped in the first couple of games and I was astonished 
that whenever you were in the pregame lobby, you, it, there was no comms. Remember that you couldn't talk. That's right. You, you couldn't like, you couldn't talk. You couldn't to like, yeah. And I remember that, that was, that was one part that really bugged me because I, we pre-ordered it to get like, uh, it was S smart ash and medieval ash. And like you would get in the, into the lobby and then like, yeah, everybody, someone would all, all yeah. would, they would take those characters. Like, so, so you, I never got to play as the characters I, I pre-ordered. I know. Did you, and you, you, you had to, to be you, a certain class. Yeah. You had to be a certain class. Did you, you, I don't remember. Were they unlocked mm-hmm. from like the jump? Could you see them in your, um, cause I don't remember if I unlocked them or if they were just available from the no, get go. They, they were available from the get go. We just never got to play them, but you had, you did have to unlock certain characters. Like I remember you had to, because there was like Unlock the hunter. Ash, which, uh, by the way, you, yeah, the hunter, the the warrior, the warrior. I can't remember um, all the ones they had, but I remember you had yeah. to like. I, I think you had to unlock the class for some of them, and so mm-hmm. unless you unlocked that particular whatever, I think it was the, I think it was the the warrior class or whatever, you couldn't even you couldn't even use the costumes that you got from the pre-order, which was kind of like, Oh man, you think they would have just unlocked those for like, especially if you pre-order the game, you think they would have unlocked those mm-hmm. from the get go so that you kind of felt like, Oh, well I got something out of that. But I remember there was yeah. t- most of the time, I think you were like young Ash for the most part, whenever you played, because you only had the one, yeah, the one character. Unlocked. Well, I just remember we would play with people and since we couldn't communicate in the lobby that they would immediately jump on the one thing and you're like, okay, but the the match would not start unless you had all four classes like filled in. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing I, I kind of like, I was like, uh, do we need the classes really? That, that bugged me. Um, I know you did it. You were able to like beat the, um, the levels and unlock things, but yeah. I never could. Like I was not that good. And I was like, there are no like checkpoints or anything like that i was like give me some checkpoints oh but yeah I'll, that I'll was the other thing yeah when you were playing the yeah the i guess the they're not campaign or whatever campaign, it was campaign or whatever they called yeah. it that was one of the issues was that you couldn't even uh uh you couldn't even get past those in uh, because there was a lack of checkpoint there's also like a, a lack of I, I felt like during during that playthrough, that thing, it was like a lack of like direction a lot of times because I remember when we were talking about it and I, you were asking me questions about like what I did to get through here. Um, mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, well, if you go to this place, there's this particular gun there and you can do it. And you're like, I haven't even seen that. So I think there was like a, a, yeah. a lack, a little bit of a lack of direction there, too, which for some people that isn't a big deal, but others it is. But um, yeah, this one, I don't quite know if I would say I'm sad about this, I think this game like sorely needed a single player campaign. Um, I yeah, think, that was fun. Yeah. It I, was hard, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. It, and it looked good too. I would have loved a whole game like that. This, yeah. It the, looked the, great. The game's graphics were, were really good. I just wish yeah. there would have been a little bit more. Um, uh, just, you know what? Here's the deal. This is the time of like repurposing games right now. Let's look at Fortnite. Fortnite started off as a tower defense game. It was not very well received. It didn't sell very well. And then what did they do? They went back to the drawing board and they they turned it into Battle Royale. And now it's one of the biggest yeah. games out there. I think yep. that this was one of those titles where the opposite needed to happen. This game did not succeed on the state. Uh, it kind of it didn't succeed the same way that Dead by Daylight, which is the only you know is the only contemporary that I can think of at the moment. It, or yeah. Jason, there was a Friday the Thirteenth game, uh, very similar. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which didn't it didn't succeed either, by the way. Uh, but Dead by Daylight seems to be the standard which all these games are actually um, judged by. Maybe this wasn't. Maybe this was one of those times where you need to look at it and go, "Hey, we uh, we didn't do very well on the whole asymmetric gameplay portion. Maybe we need to just mm-hmm. repurpose the game here." and do a single player campaign or something. I, yeah, I think people not will... everything needs a multiplayer. Yeah. This, I... this is one of them. I'm, I was, it would, I think would have been fine as a, as a single player. Yeah. And I think it needed a little bit more humor. Cause I don't remember when playing the little missions that they had, I just didn't get the humor vibe from it. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. I didn't notice much of that. Uh, um, I, yeah. I think one of the best games that, that uh was made for the evil dead license was the the one that was made for this i think it's called 
Fistful of Boomstick. Fistful of Boomstick, yes. Uh, that one, yeah. it was the State of Emergency engine or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. That was actually, I, I, I thought that game was uh, funny in a lot of its parts. I, I really enjoyed that yeah. one. Uh, that was a fun game. But uh, this one could use a little bit of that kind of like, you know, humor to to kind of push it along because you had all the you had all the chess pieces. You just needed to use them in the proper way. And this thing, yeah, I think it skewed too far in the horror direction and not far enough in the humor direction, at least for me. Evil Dead is yeah. funny. From yeah, I mean, and that, not, that Evil like, Dead was especially the much. stuff they're showing. Yeah, yeah, but the stuff they're really using a lot of in here from the show, from like mm-hmm. Army of Darkness, that's funny. Even Evil Dead Two has got some humor in it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I agree. But uh, again, I, I don't know if this is such a sad thing, but uh, it will. Uh, I mean, we'll probably jump in and play this game again. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know if there's going to be anybody to play with, you know, and next time at least yeah. I'll, I'll be thinking about it, you know, because I, I just saw Evil Dead license and I got really, really excited and I yep. I forgot the, the cardinal rule of, uh, you know, Evil Dead when you're buying stuff. It's um, shop smart, shop S smart. Well, anyways, that is all we have for this episode of the Middle Age Mutant Show. Um, Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, new format. We'll uh, talk to you again in the next episode. See you then.